This is a table of contents. It basically displays the contents within this page. It's a post that I have created. And when you go to this area where the table of contents is and you click on any of these areas, it will take you that specific section within the page or the post. This is created with the ultimate add-ons for Gutenberg add-on called table of contents. And to get this, you simply go into WordPress repository plugins and you look for ultimate add-ons for Gutenberg and you will find it from the guys called Brainstorm Force. Let's see how I had created this very simple layout and you can apply this to any page. There's just a few things that you have to take into consideration. If we go into the back end, you will see I have this text over here. And what is important here to understand that the table of contents is generated from your headings. So wherever you have a paragraph and it's set to paragraph, it will not display. If you have any other text, for example, in a block quote or any caption, it's not going to display here. It must have that H1 to H6 designation. Of course, you do not want the H1 designation unless you have set it up, but mostly you do not want that. So to work with it, let's delete this, remove the block, and then I'll bring in again a new one. And you can get it here at Ultimate Add-ons Blocks, and you will find it here. And if there are too many to look for it, you simply go up here and type in Table of Contents. Click on that and it generates it by itself. So you're not going to bring in the content, you're just going to do the styling. I'll just move this up so I have my spacer down here. To interact with the block, you have to click on it and the settings are here on the right. So the first one is general. Select the heading to consider when generating the table. Now you will see that at the top it says table of contents and that is the name of my post. So I don't have a H1 anywhere on my page. I didn't design an H1, but it's taking this H1 from the title of my page. And if you don't want that there, you want to have a different title, you simply click on it to not load it. For some reason, it still loads it. Very, very strange. It works with H2, it works with H3 and the others, but the H1 is stuck there. And H1 will be the name of your page or your post. So that is something that you have to understand at this moment. I'm not sure. I've tested it on the front end. So let's deactivate it, update it and go preview it on the front end. And you're going to see it's still going to generate table of contents over here. Hmm. No idea why. So over here, you have control over that. That means that when you are generating these various sections, that you have to make sure that you use headings if you want to generate them in the table of contents. If you are using other add-ons from other third parties like Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg, and over here I had used the advanced heading, you will also have that control. You see over here that you can set this to an H1 or any designation you wish. So this is set Vivera, and if you go up here, you will see it also displays there. Let's have a look at the other options you have scroll. You have smooth scroll, which is this nice woo, or you can jump. So if I click now, let's update that. Go to the front, update, let's see. Let me quickly just bring that in. And now if I click on it, it's going to whoop, jump to the area on my page. That is smooth scroll, which I think you should leave on. The other one that is fascinating that they've brought in with table of contents, and I'm wondering why they didn't make this a separate block, is show scroll to top. So if I click here on this one, I'm going to have a scroll to top button here at the bottom. As I click on update and I go view it on the front, you're going to see that as I scroll down on my page, I'm going to have that scroll to top right over here. Do you see that? No idea why this is included with the table of contents. I think they take into consideration that you'll only have a table of contents when you have a lot of contents, a long story that you are writing. So you probably want to have a back to the top. But I think that is a very nice inclusion. So very, very interesting inclusion. I was very surprised to see that. 
it, I want to give it a bonus point, but I, unfortunately it's got nothing to do with the table of contents, so I'm not going to give it a bonus point. Then if we go to content here, you have some control over the bottom space with the title there, and you can change your topography as well as the color of your headings and then the color also of the rest of the content. You can make it collapsible like so, but that only works for the main title. I would have liked it to be collapsible on maybe different levels as well, but that's just my own preference. And then you have your style at the bottom. You can change the color, the background of it. And you can also set your own custom width. If you leave it in percentage, you can have that full width display, which I actually like quite a lot. If you want to go for a second column, that's a very nice inclusion. And I'll add a little bit more padding there on the left and the right. You have a list margin and also on the side. So if you want to indent it a little bit, you can do that. And a lot of other styling features. One more thing to take note of is that you can have alignment of the content. So over here, if you go to align center and then align to the right, and you're going to tell me, uh-uh, look at those bullets. They just stay there. If you're going to align something in the middle, you don't want bullets. And luckily, they thought that through. So if you go here to style, I think it's style. Let me see here. Custom with style, not style. Go to, which is this one, content. You're going to have the option here to disable bullet points. I just wish then that this one can also be aligned to the center. So let's update that. Preview. And we have this. Again, no way to switch off that H1. No idea for that. I deduct one point. But I'll delete it, remove it, and I'll bring it in again. I actually think that the table of contents in its very basic form is superb. If you have a long article, keep it clean like this. I really like the fact that I can keep it clean like this. Let's put it on custom width again. This would be for me a very nice, especially if you are working on an academic article or an academic website or a knowledge base. For knowledge base, absolutely perfect. You can bring in your knowledge base, build it out, bring in a table of contents at the top so you have that additional control. And for that, we give it a four cats ferocious or four ferocious cats rating. Is it a four cats ferocious? No, four ferocious cats rating. This is JPR at Websites for Beginners. See you in the next video.